I've already been to the garden center. This is my oldest daughter, Heather. And I don't think you guys have met her. I think you've met Kayla because we painted some pumpkins together, but I don't think you've met Heather. <laughs> so Heather calls me this morning. She says, mom, I'm, I'm about to go to the garden center. Do you want to go? You know, I can't turn down going to the garden center. So I met her up there and what she's trying to do is you'll see Heather and I don't see, see eye to eye. <laughs> she loves the bright pinks and the bright colors. And I like it about as drab as you can get. Red's about as bright as I get. So we did, you did not take after me when it comes to that. You did not take after me. But anyway, so what we're going to do today is we're trying to fix her some planters to go on her front porch and by her side door. And I'm going to show you guys a little clip of the one by her back door. And I want to kind of show you what we used, what we bought to get that look. And it's going to be so beautiful when it grows because it fills in and, and it'll have tall things in the back. It'll be really pretty. On your pink door. Yes. She has a pink door. <laughs> Again, she did not take up to her mama. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to my granddaughter. That's the first thing we're going to do. And today here, is Mae. the oh, eclipse. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Tell them about the eclipse. We're only 25 minutes or so from the eclipse totality that we're yes. going to get in Nashville. So yeah. that's where we are. Yeah. So. so we may be filming in darkness in here in just a minute. But I you can so. hear the birds chirping. Is that what did they say yeah. about the birds? Well, as the it's like they think it's the sun's going down, so the birds oh, start chirping. You hear they're them? a little confused. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that would be. And neat. maybe they say the deer may be, come out, so really? we may see some deer. And there's a lot of deer around there here. There's a lot of deer. A lot of deer around here. Yes. Oh well, this would be fun. This is my little granddaughter, Bonnie May. I call her Bonnie May. Her name's Bonnie. I call her Bonnie May. And this is her friend Reagan. And we're actually we're having a little eclipse to get together down here, and we thought we'd throw in a little planning while we were at it. <laughs> So anyway, and this is Riley. And this is oh, Riley. Riley back there, yeah, and that's Riley. Okay. And, and then, then we've got Luna, Luna. and Sky. Okay. We got a big thing going on down here, waiting on this eclipse and planting flowers. Yep. Well, so we better get busy before it gets dark. Okay. 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 So the first thing we're going to do is place our geranium in here, and these are the kind that I bought that I buy every year. That last year she ran out of, and I, I wasn't able to get any, so I was so tickled to be able to get. And some they come today. in pink. Yeah, they come in pink and red. I think that's the only hanging ones they have yeah. are pink and red. But um, they come with the little wire hangers, so you'll have to snip off the wire hangers or, you know, undo them from the little holes. And then just, because we want to replant this so that it's able to not be root bound and grow really big in this pot. Okay, now we want our front to be, I think we decided that I think. our front is going to be so we're going to show you guys the front. And then what we're going to do, when you plant one of these, you kind of want your pots in there, the different things that you plant to be snug. So that way it's, you know, if you just leave it in here loose, the wind and the rain, it's, you know, you can tell it'd be kind of hard on it. Yeah. So what we're going to use, I, oh, this is my go-to asparagus fern. I always use this. It does so good and it, it will grow all the way through November. So we want this to come out of the side. It'll be side. pretty coming out of the side. We'll do that. Then we're going to use a sweet potato vine that's going to go in the front, and that's going to, it will grow and trail down. That's going to be really pretty. I love the lime green, too. It just, it's just going to pop against this pink. All right. Now, we where are our coleus? Okay. Okay. And these get really tall, right? Yes. This is, it's, I love this lime green. It's going to get really tall. It's coleus. My grandmother, Big Nanny, always loved colia. She always had it in her garden. So we're going to put that in the back. And then you have some little plants that you told me you've grown. I haven't yeah, grown these I before. I know. I can't. I, I left the little, little thing. I don't, I don't know what they're called. But they get really tall, and they bloom really big and yellow. Thank you. So. so they have a yellow bloom mm -hmm. on them. Okay. So we'll plant those in the back, too, since they get tall. Okay. okay. Well, let's get planting. I'll let you right. work on planting the yellow ones back here. And we may need a little more pot and soil. Because those are not going to be very deep. You need a little cup to do it in. You can have this one to see. Okay. Here you go. And guys, look how root bound this little asparagus fern is. It's ready to get out and spread its little roots and grow. Okay, so what are you going to do? Here, I'll grab a side one over there. You need another cup? Yeah. And after we get these all filled in, we'll go back in here thank you, with pot and soil 
and make sure everything, there's no kind of air pockets or anything. We'll get it all put in here and, and okay, let's see now. I think that we have, did we have another asparagus worm or is this the last one? We used the two. We on used the, two in that one. Okay, yeah. so we're just going to use two. Okay. Is that okay back here, you think? Yes, because I think, now you might, yeah, just, if I were you, I'd put all three of those back here. Yeah. And then, with this being that corner, kind of, we're going to put this coleus back here in the corner. Look, you can tell it's getting if darker. It, when it gets darker, we got to make sure we get our glasses on. I know. Because we, we, I, I saw that they, they're saying it'll damage your eyes, that it'll um, burn like a hole. Yeah. I was all panicking this morning, calling. Let's hope that the clouds my, clear away. I know. But I was afraid that, you know, make sure those kids have glasses on because I don't want them burning holes in their eyes. All right. Right here, you think, or okay. more on the side? I think we got you one probably here. don't want that growing. I think I would put it right here. Then we'll have that tall yellow coming up the back. This is going to grow tall. Okay. Now, we need to get Oh, this. hold on. We have one more. Okay. Well, go ahead and stick it in. All right. On the side? You can. Yeah. Yeah. And once it starts growing, it's going to look so pretty. And now we just need to put this one. Let's do. Let's do this one. Um, front. Well, maybe we should save one because we have another geranium to plant. We got this one and we've got one more over here. You want to put. Should I two? save one for this? One of these? Oh, yeah. All right. You might want to save, save one, one for these. All right. That's the beauty of you can these you you can rearrange plants like you do furniture. You don't like, <laughs> like it, to take it out and put it in something else. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now let me twirl this around and get this this one planted in here. The wind's starting I to get know. up. I hope it's you can not. tell the temperature is dropping. It can is. You feel it. Okay, this is going to be so pretty. She actually has a light pink, well, I'll show you guys when we put this around the front. She has a light pink door, Pepto-Bismol pink. <laughs> Barbie Anna, pink, I like to call it. Barbie pink. <laughs> so, but this will be pretty. Now, see how this looks right now, how it's kind of, looks like it's falling down. Put some more dirt in here and kind of give it a little more. Kind of push it down firm. There you go. So this is going to spread and fill this in. So don't worry that it looks like there's holes right now. And let's just fill down in here and make sure that we don't have any air holes. I think I'm good over here. I think I need a little bit of dirt right here. I think we should have just enough dirt left on the last one. Okay, good. Okay. All right. What's that look like? Okay. They're looking good. But this will get like really tall in the back. Yes, this is going to grow. This coleus is going to grow up tall. And whatever these little yellow yeah, things are, I wish get... I knew the name of those. They're going to grow up something tall. something with a C. I'll, we'll have to find that, that and post yeah. it in the... I will. I'll, I'll put it on my screen after I figure out the name of those. Okay, we're going to take this one up front. All right, so we're on her front porch with her lovely pink door, everyone. Pink door. Very proud. <laughs> <laughs> we put this one here in the corner. Again, it's going to have the stuff in the back that's going to grow up tall. And I'll give you guys a close-up of that one. And this one, we've still got to plant it, but you're going to plant it here. Yeah. This. No. We're trying to hurry now because we're just about to I be know. in totality. <laughs> totality, everyone. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, there it is. Is it? Where? Now I was filming and it was cloudy, but you could see where the eclipse was, where that little, just a little sliver of white shows through. Wow, I'm telling you, the beauty of God's handiwork never ceases to amaze me. Now here's a little view of what we did with these flowers that we planted today for Heather's porch. And here's the one that we just showed you that we planted. 
I think it'll be real pretty as it starts growing and fills out in that corner. And this is the one that she has down by her other pink door, down by um, her side door. Well, y'all, before I get into the home tour I have for you this week, I came over here to Mama's this morning to do something. I've already forgotten now what I came over here for. But as I was walking in, her little shade garden that is full of flowers and plants that came from my grandmother's garden. And of course, my grandmother's where we get our love of gardening, which was Mama's mama. And I called her Big Nanny. And so today what I wanted to do just real quick is just share this sweet little garden with you. Everything looks so pretty. It's just now really coming out and the hostas are big and pretty and there's still a few raindrops left on them where it had rained earlier today, but it's just really pretty. So I wanted to share that with you real quick before we get into this home tour. Y'all, I love this little garden. It's just, it's very small, and it, but it's just so quaint. This is where mama had planted a lot of the things that came out of her mama's garden after she passed away. And she left us back in 2016. Lived to be 90, almost was 99. Just liked about a month being 99. But she left behind some beautiful plants that I have some in my garden and mama has some in her garden. And I just wanted to show y'all this sweet little garden. And a lot of these ferns, they're small now, but they will get so big and full. They're just beautiful. I think Mama said they came from either Indiana or Illinois. And I like her little sign she has in here. It says Mom's Garden. And the pretty columbine blooming. Now this piece of driftwood came from my son-in-law, Alex. He found that, I think one day he was out fishing and he brought it to Mama. He knew she'd love it for her garden. And I've always loved that little frog there. I remember that even when I was a little girl. Okay, Big Nanny, this is so true. Well, Mama, your little garden of Big Nannies looks so pretty. She would sure be proud. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad that you're here joining me today. I'm in Caneyville, Kentucky. I am in the boondocks. Yes. yes. We yes. got lost coming up here. We ended up in Mammoth Cave Park mm -hmm. and there was not a soul around, woods everywhere. Yes. And I was like, please don't let me have car trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm here with my sweet friend, Laura Lindsay. And we have, we met actually about seven years ago. I think we figured yes. up about seven years yes. ago. 2017. 2017. Okay. Yes. And we met through Darlene yes. that used to have the... Um, Rock, rock garden, garden. Yes. rock garden shop. I should mm -hmm. know that. I've only been there a million times. <laughs> but anyway, so mm -hmm. Laura, I made a sampler for Laura, mm -hmm. uh, a pretty ship sampler that she was yes. wanting. And so, and we've been friends ever since. We both yes. love the same thing. And the part that I'm so excited about is you're so young. You are. <laughs> she's young, y'all. I'm old. She's young. No, you're not. Yes, you're not so, old. And, and, oh, it just makes my heart so happy to mm -hmm. see um, young people that like this stuff and carry it on because a lot of times. You know, you don't see the young people. They're they're not really into this. So I'm so glad that you are, <laughs> and you've got you're off to a good start. You've got Thank some you. beautiful, beautiful Thank pieces. You. I appreciate that. You do. You've been collecting this now for yes, a, um, a pretty good while. A pretty good while. Um, yeah. Yeah, but uh, started liking just vintage stuff when I was a teenager. But then in the last probably ten years, kind of started moving toward earlier no, really really yes. early and you're yes. you like the 1700s yes stuff, that right? is yeah. my that, yeah revolutionary war okay yeah that's okay. around well, that I can time tell period by yes looking that that's that's your thing you remind Thank me you. of my friend sherry baggett what i love sherry that, she's what so she sweet like. yes yes yeah. and i love it too i love it too Thank it's beautiful you. well guys i i'm gonna get right into sharing this um sweet home with you and show you all these beautiful things that she's acquired 
if Thank you're, you. And see, you got many years to work on getting this exactly the way you want it. I'm you know, 35. Way, you're 35. 35, okay. yes. And I look this, older, though. No, you do not. Yes, I no, do. you don't. But this is like, it's just like me and my house. It's kind of a, a work in progress. Yes. It's, it's yes. not something you decide one day, oh, I like this style. And yes. it happens because it's hard yes. to find. Yes. It's getting harder to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've got some beautiful pieces to thank you. Yeah. And and I'm not a dealer. I don't get to go to a lot of the antique oh, shows. Neither. You know, I just kinda of have to kinda of go here and there. Right, and me then. too. And you know, they're far away mm -hmm. a lot of because we don't yes. have anything in Nashville. No. And I imagine probably out here in the boonies you don't no. have very many out no, here. Neither. You don't Big yeah. Reedy is the name of this community and there okay. is nothing around okay. here. Okay. This, you know, with early early right. antiques. Okay. So Yeah, well. All right, guys. Thank you all for all of your sweet comments and for joining me every week and I just, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you.
Thank you.